Hi, I'm Jeff, and this is JM Futon. I'm putting together a freedom frame today, so I want to show you how to do that. A freedom frame is a wheel frame without the arms, and we're going to be doing a full, but this would also work for love seat or even big chair or even chair. It's all basically the same thing. So we're going to start by making sure we have all our pieces. We have a seat section here which has five slats. We have a back section which has six slats. Notice also they're turned upside down. We have a bag of hardware with nine clevis pins, four bolts, four nuts, and an Allen wrench. We also have a leg set which has a strut on each side. We also have a leg set with no strut at all. And finally, we have a leg set with a strut on each side and a wheel on each side. So uh, I'm going to show you how to put this together. What we're going to start with is the front legs. This is the seat section here. It's got five slats. There's a hole right here and a hole on the other side that are going to attach the legs to. And this is the leg set. We're going to use the one with a strut, but with no wheel. So we line up this hole, go to with that hole like that. Take our bolt, take our nut. The bolt goes through the hole, like that. And this part slides out of there. And then we put the nut inside of here. And then we just raise that until they connect. I'm just going to tighten it with my finger, but I'm not going to use the Allen wrench on it yet. Good. Clevis pin. Line up the holes in the strut. And then the cotter pin on the back. And that's one side. We'll do the other side too. The next thing I like to do after I have the front legs installed is to attach the back and the seat. So there are three holes there. You take the three cotter pins and the three clevis pins and you do that. Line up that hole. Try to line up the middle hole next. Powder pin on. <laughs> and then the last one. A little more difficult. There we go. Okay, all three are attached. Now, like the uh, first set of legs. We're going to do the same thing with the middle set of legs, again with the strut, this time with the wheel. We're going to take our bolt, look for the hole here, come up through like that, slide this section over to that, take your nut, and then just find the threads. Again, just tighten it with your hand. Don't worry about using the Allen wrench quite yet. And then, lastly, we need to attach the strut. This big strut here we want to move out of the way. And we're going to attach the strut to this side here. Levis pin. Then we're going to do the same for the other side. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to attach the last leg set. This does not have a wheel or a strut and it has a clevis pin at the top here that's already attached to the leg set. But we're going to use the clevis pin that came in the, in the uh, hardware to attach the bottom. Like that. And then this big strut here then attaches to the clevis pin that was attached to the leg set to begin with. We're writing this down, right? Do the same to the other side. Now I think we're ready for the Allen wrench. Watch this. Four 
bolts. Tighten them up with the Allen wrench. Yeah, I dropped the Allen wrench. There's one. There's two. Four, let's see how it works. I'd say that works pretty good. Roll it around. Nice. <laughs>